All right, all right. Today's spy was up 1.11%, and spy is now in this critical resistance zone right here at this resistance between 442 and what's going to be about 445, which is the negatively sloping 20 simple moving average. Now, keep in mind the weekly chart said there's a good chance we were just getting a pullback, which is a mild correction before the next leg higher. So do not get overly bearish. And Nvidia did have earnings, and it is looking like they're very likely going to make brand new all time highs. And when you're getting top 10 names like Nvidia breaking out and maintaining bull trends, it is very unlikely that the S&P 500 is going to crash. So I know the bearish narrative that a crash is coming is very popular, but I just don't see it on the charts. There's a very good chance we're going higher once this pullback is over with. And while it is still possible we're going down to 430, we did see SPY trading right around 433 before this strong bounce into critical resistance. So if price action breaks through this critical resistance, which we are testing in the next couple of days, it is very likely the pullback is over and we're coming up here to fill this gap at 455. So the critical resistance in SPY is going to remain this zone between 442 and the negatively sloping 20 simple moving average. And then above that, we have that strong resistance right around 448. So this is a critical test for the bulls and if they can break through and pass the test then the pullback is likely over and we're going higher in the event we come down and break the support at 436 look for the next leg lower at that critical support at 430. On the Nasdaq 100 triple Qs, we were up 1.58% today and the triple Qs is already at critical resistance, which is going to be the negatively sloping 20 period moving average and resistance zone right around 370 to 371. Above that, we retest the breakdown at 375 and then above that, we close the gap above 380. Again, with Nvidia breaking out to new all-time highs, that is obviously bullish for the triple Qs and that is going to help put more pressure on the bears and the bulls are going to try to take advantage of this and try to break through this resistance zone, which means a pullback from here would likely be a higher low before we continue the bull trend. Now keep in mind the triple Q's already had about a 7% pullback from the closing high to the closing low, which is exactly what we were looking for. And it's possible the end of the pullback was the low of the retest at 355. If at any point support fails around 365, it is possible we come back down to retest 355 or put a higher low between 355 and 366. On the Dow Jones, we were up 0.55% today and the Dow Jones is still looking relatively weak with the price action below all of the moving averages. So it's still possible the Dow is trying to close this gap below 340 and possibly test the rising 200 daily moving average once these bonder bands expand. The bull breakout in the Dow will be the break back over the 50 EMA at 346 and then from there we're looking for a test of resistance at 350 and 353. On the Russell 2000 IWM ETF, we were up 1.07% today and we did break out to a new daily high above the break of resistance above 185 and it is looking like a positive bounce off the 200 daily moving average. The next critical test of resistance will be 188 and 190 and if we can clear all of that resistance, we're likely heading higher towards the price target in the low 200s. Critical support is still at 183 at the 200 daily moving average so if we break below that, get a little more risk off because we're likely trending down towards 176. On the RK ETF, we were up 2.32% today continuing to bounce off the 200 daily moving average and we're going to find resistance right here between 43 and 44.5 and we're instantly getting more bullish if we can break through that resistance at 44.5. The critical support is the 200 daily moving average at 39.4 and if we break below that look for the gap to fill below at 36. On the VIX, we were down 5.95% today as the VIX continues to crush below 18, which tells us fear is leaving the market, but it is possible fear returns because the VIX is in a bull trend that could be finding support right here right around 16. If at any point the VIX spikes above 18, look out below for high volume panic fear selling, which could send us to lower prices, but right now we see the VIX crushing. On Bitcoin, we're currently up about 1.8% and Bitcoin is trying to find support right around 25,000 and it's likely coming back up to retest the resistance at the breakdown of the old support at 27,000. We can get more bullish if we can close above 27,000, but I think it's best to be risk off while we're trading below the 200 daily moving average. On Tesla stock, we're up 1.57% today as Tesla successfully held the support retest at 230. And this is looking more and more like it is a island reversal from the downtrend back into an uptrend the longer we can hold that gap open above 217. The next critical resistance will be 244 and then 255. And if we can break back over 244, it looks like we could be heading higher towards that gap fill above 289. On Apple stock, we were up 2.19% today and Apple blasted right through that resistance at 179 and we're back up to the critical resistance at 182 and you could see the 20 simple moving average did cross below the 50 EMA today. So we are getting a bearish crossover, which means this is going to be very critical resistance between 182 and 183. We also did gap up today. So any rejection from 183 is likely taking us lower to fill the gap above 177 and we also have a gap to fill down here at 167. 
So for the sake of Apple stock, I would not get bullish. This is more likely just a dead cat bounce until we can clear back above 183 and hold above it as support. And then we'll likely go ahead towards the gap fill above 190. So jumping back over to the S&P 500, this is very critical resistance that we're testing. And yes, they are still daily downtrends until we clear through the critical resistance zones. So be patient. And while there is plenty of options of where we could go from here, do keep in mind that the majority of the market is still looking bullish when we have stocks like Nvidia break out to all-time highs and what could be the end of the tech correction as we're getting ready to rally off the lows remember the bears have been getting it wrong all year long and they've been the ones continuing to tell you the market's going to crash yet we continue to get normal healthy pullbacks before we continue the next leg higher in this bull market all early bull markets climb the wall of worry and by the time the news is good and everybody knows that everything is rosy and everything is fine you've already missed the rally so follow the chart and block out all of the noise you know the critical levels, you know where to manage your risk from, and you know the greater degree of the trend on the weekly chart is still bullish. If you want to come crush this market, consider joining Bank Trade Alerts or the Stocks Channel Discord server. You can find out how to join either service by clicking on the links below. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.